Hi, I'm Brian with ericksontutoring.blogspot.com, and today we're going to discuss Hess's Law. So, Hess's Law is usually applied in chemistry, um, or at least most often applied in chemistry, and it is, basically states that the change in energy um, is only affected by your starting and end products. It doesn't matter how many steps your reactions go through, um, the change in energy is going to be the same. Um, so this allows us to calculate the enthalpy, which is the energy change for a reaction, um, without worrying about how many steps we're actually going through. So let's check out an example and how Hess's law allows us to simplify this process. So at the top here, we have four separate equations. Um, they look pretty intimidating. Um, they are balanced, and we don't really need to run through them. Um, the point is that we have four separate reactions happening here. Um, they all have their own associated changes in enthalpy. Um, but what Hess's law says is it doesn't really matter how many steps are going on here. We can condense these, um, flip them around, do whatever we want, and make it into one somewhat simpler equation, which says eth or methane plus um, peroxide leads to carbon monoxide and water. Um, because it doesn't matter how many steps occur in this process, um, we're able to calculate, um, based on the numbers and some, some calculations that I did on my own, that the change in enthalpy um, turns out to be positive 295 kilojoules. So Hess's law allows you to determine the change in energy of a reaction, um, irrespective of how many steps it actually takes to get there.